Deron Payne out here now entering his sixth season. And this year you get to enter off season with that contract. All of that's behind you. We know where you stand. How is it different approaching this off season then? Uh, I, it just feels good not to have to worry about any of the confusion. I just get to go out here and play football. I get to um, invest a lot into myself. And like I said, I get I got all the big bucks. Now I can <laughs> help other people and do things that I always want to do. So. What's the biggest uh, person or I guess group that you've been able to like help with this contract then? Uh, I feel like I'm about to do start doing a lot of stuff for uh, like the, the kids in my uh, hometown in Birmingham, Alabama. So I know they're big into sports and they a lot of them look up to me. So I just want to give them an avenue to see people like me and uh, get a chance to meet a lot of my, my teammates and my friends and just know that uh, they can do it too. Leadership, does that come with six years in? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. I feel like I'm one of them guys, just, like I don't really talk much. I try to put all my effort onto the field so you can just lead by doing. I'm one of those guys. I feel we're finding you um, to have your words a little bit more than early on in your career though. Yeah, I do talk a lot. I, I opened up a little bit, just a little bit. So does your approach to camp change? Because I know you went in last year saying, all right, you know, I, I got to prove it. I've got to learn how to finish. Like they're making me earn this. Does that approach change now? No, I mean, I found I found some things that was good for me, that worked for me, and um, I was able to make a whole lot of more plays, and it really made the game way, way more fun. So I'm going to try to do that same thing and then try to take it up a notch and um, get some more sacks, make some more disruptive plays. We keep hearing you say it's a matter of finishing. Um, Coach Z, uh, Jack Del Rio, he told me the other day, it's just you learned how to finish. Yeah. And certainly you did 11 and a half sacks, 20 quarterback hits, 18 tackles for loss. So where do you take your game next then? Uh, just try to one up it. I, I know last year I went into to, to with, uh, a goal of 10 sacks and I got 11 and a half. So I think I'm gonna shoot for like 13 and a whole bunch of TFLs and force fumbles. We talk about you on that line uh, with John, the two of you on the inside making your Pro Bowl as well. And then we see Fedarian Mathis coming in, working himself back from injury and John Ridgway uh, showing that he had the ability to get in there and make some good plays. Where does this D-line, how good are you guys and can you be? from where you already are. I mean, with all those guys coming back fresh, uh, I feel like it'll just be able, a chance to take a little pressure off of me and John. We don't have to stay out there the whole game and just try to put all the effort into that. We can rely on them to give us a breather and um, come back when we're fresh. You and John have been together for a long time. Where would you say your game's grown the most? Uh, probably just being able to like, know know how each other like how, how we do things how we rush how we um like how how we finish like i know jay he knows like when he's in a one technique i know for a fact he gonna give me leeway to do whatever i want to and he gonna finish off me and it's the same way around so i think we just work work off each other well now how is it with coach z having now like and last year the change was made kind of late with, with him kind of a full season and him running the off season uh, Coach, he, he do a lot of good things for us. He teaches us a lot about um, just using our hands and uh, finishing on the quarterback, and just like just being like being able to get our hips around on guys and, and just trying to get past guys. I, I feel like he, he, he helped our room a bunch. You know, Coach uh, Jack Del Rio mentioned that you've played the blueprint for how you go and add more money to your pocket and to your wallet. Yeah. With Chase and Montez out there and them being in your room, do you have conversations with them knowing that they're saying, follow what Duran did? I mean, I talk to them guys all the time, but um, I feel like what I did was, was, best, for, was mm -hmm. best for me. So I know those guys, they work hard. They, they some uh, real good competitors and um, they getting after it. So they doing what's best for them. So we, we'll see what, what happens. You just celebrated your 26th birthday. Happy birthday. I appreciate it. A lot different this year? Yeah. How? Uh, I don't know. You know how. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The wine's just a little sweeter, a little yeah, nicer, a little sweeter. you know, like a little upgrade. Yeah. Uh, well, we look forward to seeing you in this year and what's going to come next. Finish this sentence. Um, 2023 for Deron Payne will be? Uh, a lot of sacks and TFLs and big plays. We'll take it. Thank you, Deron.